So we're a few days away from public beta of Mixture and in this new version of Mixture you can now open non-Mixture projects. In Mixture projects you get the benefit of live reload, style injection, uh, multi-device testing and this is really easy to use and it works on pretty much every device connected. And we've now introduced this into non-Mixture projects and you know so you can benefit from all the pre-processing minification combination etc but you also get live reload live refresh on any project you don't need to add tags mixture just takes care of it for you so i just wanted to demonstrate this by opening a wordpress project in mixture so when mixture is running on a non-mixture project it works with the server that's running on that environment so for this demonstration i have mamp and i'm just going to start mamp up And then once that's running, I'm just going to show you where this is. So that's localhost 888. Here's WordPress. And here's my site. And you can see that all working. OK. So I'm just going to minify that. And I'm going to open Mixture. I'm going to open the project on Mixture actually. So first of all, I don't want to open the whole project, the whole WordPress folder. I'm just going to go in and access the themes and I'm going to drop the themes onto Mixture. So Mixture's opened up and t basically is telling me that it doesn't recognize this project, <coughs> that it's not a standard Mixture project and can I give it a bit more information about my project. So I'm going to do that. I'm going to firstly tell Mixture where where it should be processing my files. So this select the preprocessor location just tells Mixture the area that, in, that my CSS, my style sheets, etc. are going to be. So I'm going to click that and I'm going to choose 2012. I'm not going to select an output location or a script location. I mean those two things will basically tell Mixture to output any pre-process fi files into a specific location. But I'm going to ignore those and if, if I don't set them it will pre-process in place. So if I have a style sheet, the, the, if a SAS file, for example, it will pre-process the CSS and, and, and min file in place. Um, I'm going to enter the local host server address, so which as we've seen it, in this case is local host. Ooh. 888. And this just tells Mixture the location of the server that MAMP's running on. And when I press continue, so Mixture's now booted up and it's now handling any pre-processing for me uh, in the project. And I can now click view locally in Mixture and open the project on Mixture's address. So I'm going to close that one down and you can see this here. So this is now running through Mixture and I can click around, I can pretty much do everything I would normally do. I'm just going to go in and open Sublime and I'm going to open this project in Sublime. Not that one. Let's go into here. Let's open the themes folder. Okay. So there we go. I'm running on 2012. You can see the mixture dropped in a JSON file. This is the settings. That's all there is. And we can go in and make any changes we like. So, for example, let's choose the header and let's make some changes to text. Let's get rid of that the text there and when I press save you'll see mixture processed it and the page updates. Let's find the style sheet. So I've added a SAS version of the standard WordPress style sheet. So here's that. And I'm going to change the background colour. To yellow. And when I press save, mixture processes the file and updates uh, style injects that into the page in WordPress. So I can remove that. And you can see also it's created minified versions of the project, etc. So there you go, that's a really quick view. You can run this on pretty much any kind of server, so .NET, Rails, etc., and it will work with your project. Um, if I want to connect any devices, I can now connect them through this, this IP address here. Um, and you can change that. So if I open my settings, I can change my address and my port if I want, but I'm going to put this on localhost just to show you how this works. So when I press save, that will disappear. I'm going to close that window, go to mixture, click view locally, and you can see it's now running on localhost. Um, but this isn't all we've done because 
Mixture also has some built-in tools, and one of those tools is Browser Stack. And because of now we're running this as we are, I can now view this project via Mixture in Browser Stack. So Mixture will automatically tunnel for me. So there you go. And Browser Stack will open up the browser, and we should see the local WordPress project. There we go. And I should be able to also make a change to a file in this project. Let's do that. Add hello. And we should see this change in browser stack as well. There you go. This is a new version of Mixture that's coming out in a few days' time. Thanks very much.